seen a lot of posts on social media lately about people claiming to be able to replace their grow lights with just simple household LED bulbs. So in this video, I want to debunk this claim and dive deep into, do I really need to buy expensive grow lights? Okay, so first off, I guess, let me just answer the question. Yes, you can grow plants with regular household LED bulbs, but there are a lot of butts there. A lot of butts, a lot of big butts. Like, like this theory's got back. I'm way too white to say that. So first off, if you haven't seen this video, my LED lighting 101 video, make sure you go check that out because there's some things I'm gonna mention in this video that I already discussed in that video and I don't wanna leave anyone behind. So first thing I wanna talk about is light color. The thing about picking out your household light bulb is that the size of the spectrum is significantly smaller. So if you remember in the other video, we discussed full spectrum lights, which cover a big spectrum from ultraviolet all the way up to infrared light. Now the spectrum of light for household LED lighting is gonna be much smaller and it's gonna be measured differently. It's actually measured in what they call the Kelvin unit, which is a measure of color temperature uh, rather than a frequency on the scale. And the general household light bulb LED color temperature is gonna fall between light blue and orange or cool and warm light. So as you already know, the different spectrums of light emit different frequencies which stimulate the plant in different ways. This is why I recommended full spectrum lights in the last video. So I guess the question is, can you get full spectrum house LED light bulbs? Yes. Yes, you can. They're a little more expensive um, and they're designed for growing plants, but you can absolutely pick up some LED full spectrum growing light bulbs for your house. If you have a lot of house plants or if you have a condensed area or a lamp that you can shine everything on, on your particular greens, then this might be the way to go for you. But what if you have the closet full of Philips light bulbs from 2001 because you didn't believe they would actually last 10 years whenever they first came out? Well, good news and bad news. Good news is that that like soft white or daylight white that those light bulbs are it's actually a pretty good light frequency to to start plants to do maybe a little herb garden or to do microgreens with but it's only going to take you so far as there isn't a lot of red uh, in those lights and that's what's going to trigger the flowering so another issue you're going to run into is the power of the light the photon density of those light bulbs is going to be minuscule like in the single digits so although your plants will live, they're probably not gonna thrive. You're probably not gonna see any really fast growth unless they're by a window and they're receiving daylight at a certain time of day. And there are two reasons why household LED lights just don't put out the photon density that a lot of plants are gonna need to really thrive. And here's why. Number one, the diodes. And well, you know what, let me strip it back. LED stands for light emitting diode. The actual acronym LED is talking about just one thing, just one single diode that's attached to the circuit board, then that's attached to a bunch of other diodes, like a TV, except we're using a lot less diodes that are much brighter. So the quality of the diode really, really matters. And the quality of the diode in, in most household lights is going to be made for manufacturing cost, not PPFD output. So already right off the bat, they're not designed for high output. Usually they're designed for saving power. Now number two is, because usually the purpose of a household light is to spread as much light as far as it can softly. Uh, and it achieves this through diffusing the light, usually through a dome at the top of light bulb. So anytime light has to travel through anything, whether that be plastic or glass or water, it loses photon density. So if you diffuse it, if you take that light and, and soften it, then you're gonna lose quite a bit of the power of, of that light. In contrast, this is why um, all the LED grow lights are just bare. They're just a plate filled with the diodes that are all optimized, that are all full spectrum. They're to deliver exactly what your plant needs. So if you're just trying to use up light bulbs you already have, you just don't wanna buy anything new, then yeah, you can use the lights you have and your plants will probably not die. 
But if you're trying to optimize the growth of your plants and you're not trying to install a whole light strip or go through all the hassle of hanging a, a whole grow setup, you just want to use the fixtures that you already have, you're in luck too. They actually make really optimized light bulbs that you can buy that are full spectrum, that are high photon density output, and that put out a light color that's actually really pleasant to have in your house. So everything's gonna be linked up in the description box below as usual. I hope that this answers some questions for you. You absolutely can, but maybe ask yourself why you'd wanna use household lights. And there's a reason that everyone uses grow lights. There's a reason that they're a little more expensive. And there's a reason that your plants are gonna grow better. All right, see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.